Hi guys, we are going to continue with the 2018 Structure and Bonding Examination paper by looking at question 2 today. So let's get started. Now, question 2. The first question looks at Lewis diagram. So H2S is just going to look like this. H2S um, with two, oops, and with two sets. Oh. She just hate it when that happens. Two sets of electrons like that. Um, this is a bent shape. And H3 is again um, three single bond. And this is a trigonal pyramidal or trigonal pyramid. And if you're wondering how we draw these, I'll just really quick. Um, a quick thing that if, especially if you somewhat decent at organic you should know that hydrogen only single bonds and sulfur needs to have so these can only be single bonds so the sulfur in the middle must have um, the sulfur in the middle must have two sorry eight electrons altogether that's why you have to, um, two lone pairs just around the sulfur nitrogen needs three bond three times that's why you have two lone pair uh, one lone pair of electrons there now boron is an exception boron just remember now don't forget to do these dots around the fluorine oh man i'm gonna draw them as far away as possible that doesn't look weird because it's gonna connect them together all right so bo just remember boron has needs to hold six valence electrons all together beryllium is four electrons all together okay um, one way I tell my guys to remember it, um, the second letter in the alphabet is B. You are doing NCA level 2. So 2, B, second alphabet, um, second letter in the alphabet. So just remember the B and BE are a little bit weird when it comes to Lewis diagram. Just They can't hold on to 8 electrons. They just, they just can't. Okay, So this is trigonal planar. I mean, if you need more advice on how to draw Lewis diagrams, um, you can watch my first ever video, which is on structure bonding. Okay, um, but we're just gonna speed run these now. Compare and contrast the shape bond angles in NH3 and BF3. So NH3, I'm just gonna do this quite briefly as well. This has four regions of electron density, and three of them are bonded. So if you look at NH3. So it has three um, total four regions. So that's one, two, three, four. Three of them are bonded, and then you have one lone pair of electron up here. Okay, so this means you will have a tetrahedral arrangement. Tetrahedral arrangement because you, as long as you have four regions of density, you always have a tetrahedral arrangement. But because one of them is a lone pair of electron, which you can't see, you will have a trigonal pyramid shape. Because you can't see the four corners, you can only see three corners, that's why it's a trigonal pyramid, and the bond angle is, say, um, 109.5 degrees. And you can again, you can remember, as long as you have four regions of electron density, you only get 12s, the bond angle you can just remember it's always going to be 109.5 degrees because you have the tetrahedral arrangement so despite that you not being able to see them but they are there and they will push each other away as far away as possible to minimize repulsion so the bond angle is always 109.5 degrees okay if you look at bf3 bf3 is different because if you remember looking at the lewis diagram just now i'm not going to draw the dots you have three regions of electron density. They're all bonded. So you got three regions, so that means you have a trigonal planar arrangement. And because you can see all three corners, you have a trigonal planar shape, okay? And when you have three regions of electron density, the bond angle is always gonna be 120 degrees because that's as far away as they can get from each other okay nice and easy but you look at more detailed um, wording here it is i mean i just got these from the nzq website 
for region selection density, they minimize repulsion, they get away, get uh, stay away as far away as possible, minimize repulsion, the bonding 109.5, because of non bonded pair um, of electrons, you can't see it, so it's trigonal pyramid. In comparison, BF3 and F3 regions, blah, 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 same thing, three regions in non bonding, so it's trigonal planar. Okay, so it's just very standard question, nothing really too exciting here. Um, and that's the thing with chemistry, very, very fair subject, very similar questions year in, year out, just grind them, okay? Just do as much as you can. Uh, next one, polarity, what a surprise, okay? So explain why they told you this is, they told you that this is non, this is polar, this is non-polar, why is that? So they have the same shapes. Now I'm just gonna do it really quickly, again, H, um, U, for this um, HCN molecule, the hydrogen cyanide, you can you have two different types of bond. You have hydrogen carbon bond, you have C and triple bond. These two bonds have different strength in bond dipoles. Now, what that means is that what is dipoles? Where do dipoles come from? That's due to electron. Electro significant difference in the electronegativity. So if we have hydrogens and carbons together, this hydrogen sorry, this carbon is actually more electronegative than the hydrogen, so it wants the electrons more to itself. But if you have the carbon versus nitrogen, the nitrogen is actually more electronegative and the carbon is electron more positive. Because you got different strength in the bond dipoles, even though you do have a linear shape they won't cancel each other out perfectly because as you can imagine the most easy the most obvious example think of tug of war if you are a really popular person and two of your best friends want you to go with them one is pulling you on the left one is pulling you on the right and then let's say the first on the right hand side is stronger then obviously you go to the right hand side because the two pulling forces don't cancel each other out because they have different strength. So you can imagine if the carbon in the middle is experiencing, you know, having two different um, types of dipoles um, around it, it's obviously not going to cancel out. If it doesn't cancel out, it is polar. In an, um, if you compare that with CO double bond, um, oops, um, this is the two CO bonds are completely similar and they will cancel each other out because of the symmetrical arrangement. Okay, but if you look at the answers, you do need to talk about the electronegativity difference because I just abbreviated it. So you need to talk about the significant electronegativity difference between CH and CM. Therefore, you've got two different types of dipoles, you know, two different electronegativities. So if, even though you have a symmetrical shape, they don't cancel out. But the other one, yes, it's more electronegative. You have bond dipoles, but because they are arranged symmetrically, they do cancel out. So the key word that you're looking for, guys, you always want to talk about electronegativity difference, creating bond dipoles. And then you are going to tell us the shape and if it's symmetrical or not. And then the symmetry of the shape and then you need to explain to us, do they cancel? Cancel or not? And then if it cancels, it's non-polar. If it doesn't cancel, it's polar. Okay, uh, I believe there's one more question. All right, let's do this. I think the last one for this particular question. Um, carbon monoxide, da, da, da. so again, same thing. Same question that I mentioned before. I calculate the volume of methanol made one four four two eight kilojoules energy is really all right so this is hot keyword this is important now what are we trying to calculate volume of methanol so i need methanol which is right here i don't care about the carbon monoxide or the hydrogen all right let's go back same thing that i did in my previous video one mole of ch3oh is the energy is going to be negative 91 or just 91 91 is fine. The negative just means energy released. Okay, so how much energy do I have now? I have 4428. So what it means is that if you record, if you um, have 4428, if you have one mole of um, CH3OH releases 91 kilojoules, I now have 4428 kilojoules. How many moles? How many moles do I have? Okay, so how many 
how oh God, how many months okay so you can either do cross multiply if you're quite savvy with mathematics you should just be able to see 4428 divided by 91 and that will give you the number of um, the number of moles uh, which is going to be 48.7 moles and this is how many moles I have what is the mass one liter is 0 0.978 um, seven zero point seven nine uh, zero point seven nine oh kilojoules. So let's use the molar mass number first. I know the mole. I know the molar mass. I can figure out the small m. So let's rearrange this. Um, small m equals n times big M. So that's forty eight point seven times thirty two grams per mole. That is going to give us one thousand five hundred and fifty seven grams. I need to know how many liter it is because it gave you gave me the volume so one liter is okay so you can do one liter is 0 0.79 kilograms I have 1557 grams which is 1.557 kilograms how many liters is that so you're just gonna go 1.557 divided by um, 0 0.790 and you are going to get 1.97 liters okay so one more step and um, I was explaining this to someone in my class the other day um, if you get given the grams all right let's say um, if you go back to the question one video they gave you the grams when you get the grams you need to convert that to the moles okay so that's using n equals small m divided by big m convert that to the moles and then you need to do the per mole value like I you know the, this thing I always do at the beginning then you need to multiply by the kilojoules per mole value and that give you the kilojoules and that's normally the question done now if they gave you the kilojoules you need to do the opposite you need to first use this kilojoule divide by the kilojoules per mole to give you the moles and once you got the moles you need to use small m equals n times big M to figure out how many grams you have which is the mass okay so it's the same type of calculation so if you do struggle with a mathematical component you can just memorize this particular section okay um, otherwise this is the end of question two um, hopefully you found this video helpful subscribe smash the like button and I'll see you guys in question three um, take it bye bye